smoke poured into the Athens sky this July, following a chemical spill at the J&J chemical plant. While the cause of the spill is still unknown, chemicals seeped into nearby Trail Creek, killing fish and other living creatures. The spill also left a nasty odor. We've had this smell of, as everyone says, urinal cakes uh, or porta potty smell. Smell was also a problem for those faced with the task of cleaning up after several cow murders at a farm in Flowery Branch this past year. Owner Kathy Cooper has had trouble making sense of it all. You don't rest sometimes because you're you're thinking, you know, in your mind why and, and what's going on. Something else on the minds of many is why a wife would allegedly plot to have her husband killed. Authorities believe Stacy Sheck conspired with these two individuals to shoot her husband in Belton Bridge Park in Hall County on Valentine's Day. But it was Sheck who actually reported her husband's murder to authorities. As soon as I pulled into the park, I saw his truck. As soon as I pulled out, I could see him laying on the ground. Up in Hart County, there was a heated battle between area residents and Green First, a company looking to build an incinerator plant, which would have burned garbage and wood to generate electricity. The company has since backed off, citing economic reasons. This is not good um, for our air, for our soil, for our farmers. Um, and for our lake. Many Hart County residents were also upset with the county's tax assessor's office over their property tax rates. Some saw their rate jump as much as 70 percent. That resulted in roughly 5,000 appeals. This has led the Hart County Board of Commissioners to ask for tax assessor chairman Jim McMullen's resignation. This kind of came out of left field with uh, we really are curious we can only shrug our shoulders. And finally, Georgia elected Gainesville native Nathan Deal as its new governor. It was a hard-fought battle for Deal as he battled claims of an ethics investigation. Still, Deal is grateful for the support voters showed him on election day. Very overwhelming, quite frankly, that we had such widespread support. In Athens, Chip Scarborough, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.